very important during the design process that thermal bridging is considered early in the process. There are effectively three different types of thermal bridging. There are non-repeating individual thermal bridges, such as penetrations through the roof or wall. There's a repeating thermal bridging, which is taking into account a new value calculation for the roof or the wall. And the third type is a linear thermal bridge, which is the thermal bridging heat loss through details such as the roof ridge, junction between roof and walls, etc. That last one is often overlooked during the design process and default values used in calculating for the overall building energy performance can actually affect uh, the overall outcome very dramatically. So it's very important that good detailing with correctly calculated psi values for those details are plugged into the calculations early in, in the process. Early in the design process, if you use default values within the software for perhaps the, the psi value, the linear bridging detail of a, uh, in a building, that can have a dramatic effect on the, the outcome for the whole model. Effectively, that can be as much as 10% loss, which a designer may then feel he needs to adjust by perhaps adding more thermal insulation to roof and walls if he's not aware of that factor. That would then necessarily mean uh, a large uplift in costs because insulation is relatively expensive on a large building. Getting the detail right and using a, a properly calculated psi value in the first instance from a system supplier could potentially negate all of that extra exercise. Euroclad have been working with Tata Steel and Oxford Brooks particularly over the last 10 to 15 years on the thermal efficiency of buildings and ways of delivering cost-effective steel building solutions. All of the Euroclad technical team have been trained in using 3D thermal modelling software which is used to generate accurate psi values, F factors, and new value calculations. Those are all ready, readily available for all of the systems that we have and can be applied by the designers at the earliest stages. This can be used to great effect, particularly if applied in early stages. It's really important to involve a supply chain partner who understands the complexities of the building regulations and particularly national building calculation methodology, whole building method. Considering those things early in the design process can really help to deliver a cost-effective solution for your building. Mm -hmm.